They say everything is bigger in Texas, but is that the case for what's happening with WWE? Probably not. Hey guys, it is I, Lord Derby, and welcome to another wrestling pay-per-view prediction show. Oh wait, pop up ads. Nobody wants. To. I am joined by some friends this time who wants to introduce themselves first. Hi, I'm. Hi. Oh. Jesus! Hi, welcome. We can't get past their intro stage. Uh, this is like playing Xenoblade Chronicles all over again. Hey, twenty Didn't tutorials at once. Okay, let's go. <laughs> no. Hi, I'm Kid V. Hi, it's me, Andy. And uh, who's excited for this show? Let's be honest. And Guys, I was excited like until Brock Lesnar gets to be in the whole thing like that. I was cool until that happened. It's, it's I was called Royal Rumble at the same that. time, and Royal Rumbles are always exciting despite the fact that they might be. All right, well, we've got a, I'd say, big card, but let's be honest, mm, not really. So, first matchup we have is Andrade versus Humberto Carlillo for the U.S. Championship. This has all the makings of a good match. I'm not going to lie, it has a good potential, but. Uh, I mean, both the guys that are in this match are pretty good. Andrade has been doing a fantastic job in the U.S. title, and people kind of like to watch his matches. But uh, I, I don't think they gave it enough buildup. I mean, what is it? Uh, Umberto came out uh, literally less than a week before uh, this match got made, you know, for, for the Royal Rumble. So I don't know if they just had enough buildup for it. I feel like this could be a golden match on WrestleMania myself, like a ladder match, like they did with El Rey, but... Uh, what were you saying, Andy? I think that the match has potential, because they're both super solid competitors, you know? But as for the winner, I think they're going to give keep it on Andrade and maybe a Mania rematch. If I feel like they have it go to, like, Carrillo and then have the Mania rematch. Like, do it that way. So I have to disagree. I'm, I'm going with Andrade on this. So I, I, want, I can see them drawing out his, his... The other way I could see this happening, and this is just my dream speculation, reignite the old NXT rivalry with Andrade and a Black for the title. That would be... Now, that'd be legit. That'd be cool. All right, up next, we have Bailey versus... Oh, God, she's still around. Lacey Evans for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Bailey. I, listen, I feel so strongly about this. I can't express how strongly I feel and how strongly Lacey Evans needs to win. She needs like it, but... Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see where she needs to win, and I, I would agree that um, if they're going to... If they want to keep her as a strong competitor... But is Absolutely. it really going to be that soon that she's going to drop it right away? You think she's barely snoozing it then? Uh, I definitely do think that she's going to lose it because not only do people like Lacey Evans, but they also don't like Bailey. And I think Vince McMahon is smart enough to know that he needs to get it off of Bailey as soon as possible. He's smart enough to know about the monster among dance moves. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, you were giving a lot of... Uh credit towards the WWE creative. But at the same time, I can also see it. They, they're they trying to be fresh. And, um, they they want to try to get some things going. And I am, I'm hoping that a, a Lacey Evans win here will uh, help jumpstart that. So you guys are going Lacey? Lacey. We're going yeah. Lacey. Yeah. I'm going to be the opposite and say Bailey, because again, I think they're not going to make her lose it that way. As much as I want it to happen, I think I want to have her see lose, lose it to cross, if I may be honest. Maybe may be honest. Oh, that could to be, be a honest, potential. I feel like they also might have Bailey retain and then have Bailey versus Sasha towards WrestleMania. That and would if be that's what they're going, that would be garbage. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, it's a, they got potential for story uh, with Bailey being the, the heel champion moving forward. Uh, yeah. For, uh, yeah. for uh, whoever wins the Women's Royal Rumble, will take her. Up next, we have Sheamus in his return match, so to speak, against I. My name is. My name is Shorty G. Yeah, Seamus winning. Seamus is winning. There's no garden way they would make him lose his return match. Okay, wait. Hear me out. I have to make a case for my man Shorty G. 
Shorty. Look, I, I uh, want to hear the case for Shorty G because I love him too. <laughs> Dude, okay, listen. Seamus is cool and all, but he's he's too tall, man. He's got two big legs, which means Shorty G just stuck under him. He's going to win, guys. He's going to win. It's going to be the squash match of the night. It, it's going to be a squash match. <laughs> hey, it's going to be squash. I would be surprised if this match lasts longer than a whole 90 seconds. I want to say this, and I don't want to be disrespectful. This match is going to last longer than the entire of James Ellsworth's return to WWE. Very possible. <laughs> uh, no, he misses my guess. They're not, they're not yeah, going to ruin no. him coming back. No, it's going to be a squash Shorty match. G, Nothing longer than 90 easy. seconds. And Sheamus is going to crush it. Up next. Oh, God, I really just want this feud to end. Roman Reigns versus King Corbin in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Uh, Dude, I'm thrilled. <sighs> I'm glad someone's excited this. about this. Yeah, I am I glad too, bud. I love this feud so much. Not because, like, the dog food, nasty, not gonna lie. But it's it's very in-depth, and I like it. But I also think that Corbin will win. You think the feud is gonna win the overall feud? I mean, I, I do think so because listen, Roman Reigns, this is kind of like the battle of two, like not overly pushed, but frequently pushed guys because like Roman, he gets pushed a lot and it's cool, but King Corbin also all the time just has these new things. So I think that he's got. Yeah, but there's a certain thing that's going to happen in my opinion, and I'll get to that later. But uh, uh, I think uh, Roman I, is going to win for a big reason because of the rumors going around with him. As much as I don't want to happen. Like, I don't want to go into any other matches, but I feel like they're going to have Corbin win because I think Roman's going to win a different match this very same night. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I don't know. I want Corbin to lose, but at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see this. Um I can also see Corbin using the false count anywhere stipulation to get the upper hand uh, to get the win. But um, I'm going to have to agree with Andy. I think definitely we see uh, we probably see a Roman Reigns victory and then somehow he wins the Women's Royal Rumble later on that night. <laughs> Women's Royal Rumble. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the wrong match. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He ends up being the third man in the fiend. Versus Brian Daniel Daniel Bryanson, you know. I'm sorry, that is perfect. Just Roman Reigns is like the new Santino Morella. Just comes Dude, up. He's, the got the hair for it. he's got the hair for. It. Dude, I would so watch that. Her name isn't Dude, Roman; it's Romaine. Romaine. Uh, <laughs> anywho, she was named after a lettuce. <laughs> 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 Oh god, I hate laughing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh. so, a good Be hearty chuckle is good for the soul. Be Becky Lynch <laughs> versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, Becky. Becky. I would play devil's advocate and say Asuka just because Becky has physically beaten pretty much every other competitor there is to beat. I I think that something else is going to happen. And I, I think, think that when we get to the Women's Royal Rumble match, I'm going to make a big, bold prediction of that. But uh, I have a different prediction for that, too. I can't wait till we get there because there's right. everyone like I we're just know. moving on. We're just moving. Yeah, right along. I'm going, no, uh, no discussion. No, just, see, my, my we're not even going to argue. We're just like, yeah, <laughs> I think Oscar's had the upper hand in this little mini feud. And I just don't see it, you know, if it had more build, if it was, you know, I, I could see Asuka maybe getting over, but it's been so quick that I, I believe it. I think uh, the only other option they have here is to have Asuka lose, but then Kyrie Sane win it from Becky. Because that's the only way they could go with it, really. I'd be, like if Asuka I, does I mean, it. legit, I would be happy. All right. That'd be cool. Next match is The Fiend, Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan. A strap match for the Universal Championship. Is it a vegan strap? <laughs> uh, you know what that reminds me? Um, you remember when uh, Daniel Bryan teamed with a uh, Rowan? Yeah. I called him yeah. Degeneration X all the time when I would do this. That's, that was my nickname. You know what? Well played. 
Well, the Generation X. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I love the Fiend, and I know that he's gonna win, but I want Daniel Bryan to win. I'm, I think it, I'm on the same boat as that. I want Bryan to win, but. Yeah, you know, he's got the, you know, when he goes back to that yes movement, everyone, ap- there's no bigger face that you can't help but love him. But at the same Who's time, actually? I can't see the Fiend, you know, stopping his onslaught until Mania. And even then, I don't know who it could be. That t- I, that's my thing. I, I, I have an idea who it is going to be that's going to stop the Fiend. But we'll get to that boat when we do. Okay, if you say Brock Lesnar, though, I'm going to slap you. Oh, it's not. No, no. God, no. I will find a way to get through this phone of mine and slap you. I'm tired of Brock. Uh, Anywho. I've been tired of Brock for so many years, man. I was so mad. Fun thing, Andy and I were both actually at Extreme Rules, and I'm pretty sure we both booed when um, Brock came out and, like, beat Seth. Dude, I I left, not going to lie. I, I literally screamed I, as loud as I could, and some guy looked next to me. He's like, "Did a banshee stomp on you? Not did something, dude." I'm like, <laughs> "Excuse, excuse me, Listen grown us. man, but you need to calm down." Yeah, for the children. <laughs> it's still real to me. Damn it. Okay, no. I'll be, <laughs> no. <laughs> the All next right, we match. got the women's royal rumble match. Yeah, that's what's next, and uh, the announced participants so far: Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss, Alexa Nikki Bliss. Cross, Sarah Logan, and Natalia. All right, I've got strong feelings for this one. Uh, there's been a lot of talk that Shayna Baszler is going to win, which is been, feasible. I think it could happen. I want Shayna to win. With that basic prediction, I think that Ruby Riot, like she's been out of, like her injury has been fixed for a long time. So I think that they might come her through, and I just I like her, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say Ruby Riot. For I no reason. It's a like entry, and it's going to get a big pop. But I don't, I don't see that being the end. Oh of yeah, the- uh, I don't okay. see it, but I want it so desperately it's that I want, I want to say it. You know, there's right. two people I want, and one swerve ball I could see them doing. N- Nia Jax could Jax. return in this as well. Remember that. So could Rousey too. I've heard talk about Rousey coming back, and I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't. I'm I not, want I'm not a Riot to win as well, but the one I could see them doing the Swerve Us, and this is me just really sighing heavily because I don't want to see this. Charlotte Flair. Uh, it could yeah, happen. Would, listen, listen, the amount of talk happen. I've heard for Shayna is crazy. I think it's going to yeah. be Shayna, but I don't want it. I personally, I'd love to see Nikki Cross win. Nikki would, would be amazing, yeah. Nikki, uh, I mean, I would be happy with that. I'd even be happy with Alexa. Uh, uh, again, I haven't been keeping up with the, the, the dub dubs, so I'm not sure what she's been up to. But either one of those uh, women winning, I would be very happy with. But that's, I mean, all in all, um, having not really seen much of the hype going into this Royal Rumble match, I'm not really exactly hyped about it. We for, we forgot the best person of all, Romain Reigns. <laughs> okay, no. Oh God, look at the callback, mm-hmm. guys. Yeah. I think Romain Reigns is gonna win. Not he doesn't gone, use he doesn't use the 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 python. He has a boa constrictor instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now for the main event, the men's rumble, which has Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, AJ Eric Rowan. Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Elias, King Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, and the whole Brady Bunch. I mean, Otis Tucker, Rusev, Bobby Lashley, Aleister Black, Buddy Murphy, Braun Strowman, Shinsuke Nakamura, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe. Have I said enough names yet? No. Kofi Kingston, Big E, and R-Truth. With Brock being number one. You know he's not going to stay in the match the whole time. He's going to no, he doesn't. It would be absolutely stupid of the creative team to have him win that match. I mean, to be oh. fair, they did kind of give us Brock quitting SmackDown. So, I, no, I, I, can, I can see him being the last two. I see him being in Final Four for sure. Like, I see that happening almost positively. Am I the one who... And, re- sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. I was going to say, was I the only one who really wanted a Braun versus Nakamura match, like, for the actual title? Because, hey, how many titles do we actually have on the line here? Like, one, two, three, four. Like, not the Intercontinental title, but the U.S. one I mean, instead? I was kind of hyped for it, but to be honest, I think I'd rather see if it plays out and see if they have Braun go for the Fiend eventually, because I think that would be a cool, like, story they could do. I can see you know, with the Wyatt family in the past and all that, you know what? But let's be real here. There's one person probably winning this. Yes. Shorty <sighs> yeah. G. Shorty. <laughs> he just comes out and like crutches and somehow wins. Guys, I hope I uh, I think Mustafa Ali's gonna win, guys. Forget Shorty G. My man. He's gotta do it. Hornswoggle comes out of nowhere and wins. <laughs> the great Kali. He pops out and he's like, Brock Lesnar, I'm taking you out. I've actually met Kali. My God, he is huge. Dude, the guy, big boy, let me tell you. He picked me up with one arm. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was terrifying. <laughs> Oh my god, you got power slammed by the great Kali. Yeah, literally, I was like, there was a thing before they actually were wearing matches and we got to meet some of the wrestlers and I was like, I'm not as scared by you and he just picks me up with one arm. I'm like, okay, yes I am. Yes I am. Put me down. Put me down. I can see the Aurora Borealis from here. Put me down. Sir. What were you saying, Big? You saying oh, no, it's just you've changed my mind completely. Please let me go. <laughs> so, uh, I like how R Truth was announced to be in the Royal Rumble via WWE's Instagram. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Is he still the 24 champ? Is that still No, uh, Mojo is Mojo, isn't it? Mojo. I, could you imagine if R Truth went into the Royal Rumble, into the match as 24 hour champ? All the people that would follow him down the ramp and get into the match. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just confused. Our truth gets thrown out of the rumble, and he's just—they just, pin him. If Mojo was in the rumble, they're definitely gonna have somebody pin him on the ramp for that title. Mojo Jojo Riley. That's what I call him. All right. So, do we have some predictions for the uh, for the men Royal Rumble, Andy? Uh, I I'm gonna play devil's advocate here and not say Roman because I think that Drew McIntyre is also a decent. decent That's a great. I would love to say Drew, but let's be real here. How hard is it that Vince wants Roman to be the face of WWE? Like, I mean, yeah, but we've seen that many. We've seen that so many times. Personally, and here's mine, and I know it's probably not going to happen, but I'm hoping against all hopes, Alistair Black. That would be super cool. Wouldn't it be super cool? Thank you. I would be happy with that too, but somebody who recently signed a contract with uh, WWE again. Mm. Alliance? (laughs) That would be nice, but no. um, On this day, I see clearly everything that's going on to lie. Edge. Look, look. It would be an awesome surprise entrance, but definitely couldn't see. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one. I think that if we're going to go based off of smaller guys instead of the obvious predictions, they might give it to, like, an Elias-type character where they're kind of big, but not quite there. Shorter guys, come on, let's go El Tolito. I can see, I can see Ricochet doing... I can see them doing something with Ricochet. That would be cool. Ricochet versus I, I would, Rock would be a good match. It would because of the style difference. The yeah. powerhouse, and then Ricochet just being able to flip out of every suplex. Welcome to Suplex City. Now exiting Suplex City. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Roman because, again, it's kind of the most obvious thing they're going to hammer on. But if I had to pick a dream person, like someone other than that. Oh, boy. Black, Drew, or out of nowhere... No, not Randy Orton reference to somebody from SmackDown that hasn't shown up yet. Um, like a returning injury. Jinder Mahal just surprised everyone. Just like he's back and he was good. I can't express how much I would love that. I would be so happy. It's so a legitimate possibility. I, I'm, but I'm still going with my pick of Aleister Black. If I had to pick someone else. Uh, that I want to see with my heart of hearts. 
Wait, no, guys, we we, we underestimated somebody. Shorty G, did we? Jason Jordan! Okay, no. Oh my god. Jeff Hardy could be coming back as well, who knows? Yeah, I'm sure that he'll be able to post his bail and get Wait, what happened, yeah. with, what happened with Lord Sullivan? I just remembered he existed. He existed. Oh, uh oh, 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 man. Oh, you've done it now. Yep, you've opened up a can of worms, and now those worms are free, and you can't gather <laughs> can them Can of up. worms? Boogeyman! Okay. Boogeyman. Oh, I actually have a giant uh, heart from Boogeyman. I don't know if I've actually shown that or not. but I do you love it. I, have, I, I still have a Boogeyman t-shirt from when I was like eight years old. I actually have, like I said, one of the giant hearts that he used to carry around in the ring and stuff like oh no no send pictures to you guys but yeah anything else we want to discuss while we're here like what's going to be the next future plan for wwe or anything like that or um i could definitely see uh if if my prediction happens to come true um i could see a hell of a build up for alistair black and brock because Alistair would just come out and Paul Heyman's going nuts, you know. This guy, he's got to... And Alistair just doesn't say... And I think the difference between that would be fantastic. Because at that point, um, Paul Heyman being a spokesperson means nothing anymore. And Brock, who doesn't talk for the most part, would be like, hold it, wait. This guy's kind of like me. And all they'd have to do is stare down true and i think it would be i could see a reverse like f5 like he tries to hit it black lands on his feet and when brock turns around just a black mask oh i think i think it can i think it's got a making of of something fun and different i just slapped myself across the face ah all that actually hurt why'd i do that for real ah bad idea oh boy i slapped the virginity out of me ow um (laughs) Well, on that note, it's been me, Lord Derpy. Kid V. Andy. If you want us to do this again, let me know, because I'm kind of... Okay, you know what? This is too much pain. Ah. Oh, mama. My... Oh, God, my face is red. Oh. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. Like and comment, as always. Subscribe to become a member of the Derp Platoon and follow me on Discord. And as always, stay awesome. Stay awesome.